this video, Evangelism Part 2. Howdy y'all, I'm Pastor Mark, I'm the pastor of Copeland Christian Church, and this is Theological Moments with Pastor Mark. It's good to be with you all today. We're going to continue our discussion on evangelism. Recall last time we began our discussion with a definition of the gospel, that Christ died for our sins and rose again from the dead. Remember that we talked about uh, how it's our responsibility to share this message with people and give the surrounding context and, and required response, right? If we're not putting faith in Christ, who died for our sins and rose again from the dead, that's the part that matters. And so today we're going to continue talking through fundamental considerations. First, I want to talk about our motivation for evangelism. We can agree that Christians are commanded to evangelize, to make disciples. And yet I wonder if there is an even greater motivation, and that's the motivation of love. Is there a better way to love the people around us than to share the gospel with them? And we share the gospel because we know Jesus, and we want them to know Jesus and experience the same transformed life that we have. We want them to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior so that they too will experience eternal life. So they too will come into the new heaven and the new earth with us in the presence of our Lord for eternity. Second, it's okay to admit that sharing the gospel is intimidating, uh, whether to a stranger or a friend. But the key is to remember that you are sharing this out of love, that you have the truth and you're standing on the truth. Being nervous is normal. It doesn't mean that you're a bad Christian or your faith is weak. It just means that you're nervous. As you share the gospel, listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit, you be obedient to God and you let the results fall to him. Uh, we don't have anything to be nervous about. Another thing that helps is having a, a method memorized by rote. And we'll talk more about that in our next video, but that's very helpful. Third, the Bible says that nobody can believe unless they've heard, right? Paul talks about this, the necessity of evangelism so people can hear, so that they can be saved. If nobody's telling the gospel presentation, the gospel message, nobody can believe in it. But the Bible talks about there's some who water, there's some who plant. All the while, the Holy Spirit is working on that individual's heart. Um, so in a lot of cases, we won't ever know what happens, uh, but it's up to us to be the tellers, because if we're not telling, then people can't hear. Fourth, uh, we're to make this part of our lives. One common misunderstanding about evangelism is that it's going to the street corner and yelling at the passers-by. I'm not saying don't do that, but I'm saying that's not all that evangelism entails. Evangelism, rather, is more importantly, mostly, uh, about what we do in our day-to-day -day lives. It should be a part of our just regular existence. As a part of witness and evangelism is proximity, probably the most important part. And so who do we spend our time around? I would say, you know, uh, we work, we spend time with our families, and then we have a little leisure time. And of course, a lot of us have our leisure time spent with our kids. Um, you know, whether it's basketball or debate or what have you, we're busy. And yet, it's in those uh, basketball games when you're sitting in the bleachers that you can have that conversation with another parent that we can steer those conversations towards spiritual things. Right? It's about meeting people right where they are at. As we listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, how can we minister to them? How can we have these conversations about their spiritual situation, about their emotional condition, what's going on in their life right now, what needs are being presented, and how can we steer that conversation towards them being fulfilled in a relationship with Jesus Christ. And so it's about walking in tune with the leading of the Holy Spirit, allowing him to guide us in these conversations. The goal isn't to add one more responsibility, but rather to integrate what we're already doing with our call to evangelize those around us, to love them well and to share the gospel presentation with them. Thank you for watching today. If you liked the video, found it helpful, please like, uh, go ahead and share it. I'd love that support. If you want to join the discussion, leave a comment for me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.